you hit Dr. Mobius in the brain until he's dead. And I get 50 experience for that, we that's it. We haven't seen anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. 1066. That, that is the Battle of Hastings. With. All right, I should probably heal some more. Make sure I live through this. I want to loot uh, Dr. Mobius here. Can I not? M That's a piece of him. It's not big enough of a piece. There we go. There's a big enough piece. Electron charge packs. Take that. Take that. Mendaz. Narco fusion cells. Psycho. I'm a stealth boy. All right. So now we're free to explore this place where probably not going to be too much that I want. Fixing things is here. Scrap metal, scrap electronics. Kind of disappointing that I saw this plot twist from the beginning. <laughs> I said from the beginning, oh, these guys are the real bad guys, aren't they? And turns out, yes, they are. What? Oh, that's just my brain thing. Okay. I'll be up there, don't you worry. I'll come get you, brain. I assume there's not a timer on it. Nice. Just what I wanted. 44. Hey. Come on. Give give it to me. There we go. 44. They know what I want. 44 is for the Fido. I have so much stuff here, though. <laughs> what are those? Mentats? I want Mentats. They make me smarter. -er. It's like the Smarties used to when I was a kid. That's why you had to have them. It made you smarter. It said so. Right on the thing. Because they were called Smarties. Is there anything good in here other than toasters? <laughs> that I don't care about. I don't, I don't want to turn in more toasters to the toaster. See, that makes me sound crazy, but that's actually what I would be doing. Why would I want the tin can? All right, throwing axe, what do we got in there? Energy cells. Wonder Glue and a vacuum cleaner. Never figured out what to do with that kind of stuff. There's one in the middle here. Hey, good stuff. Filing cabinet, come on. They're never giving me the stuff that I want. Always these small little things. Never the big things. Some kind of super awesome mega weapon for, for me killing more or less the final boss, even though it's not the final boss. I have to kill the other guys, I assume. I assume I have to kill the other guys, but uh, they haven't really made that a priority for me. I will never be dumb again. Good God. These don't weigh anything. That's the best part about Mentats. It's the best part of all about the drugs. I'll say it again. Remember, kids, always carry drugs. They don't weigh anything. And they sell for a lot. Uh, Psycho, too. But really, I I'm just never going to be dumb ever again. And there they are, all five of them. Nobody's crossed out or nothing. I assume Mobius is the oldest one. Probably missed something in there. Still want something better than just a huge pile of Mendats, though. <laughs> Granted, I appreciate it, but uh, that's not that's not really holding me over here. Is this something too? That is something that I can get into. Who who organized this room? It's not really feng shui properly at all. What the hell's going on? Yes. All right. Go around my brain. I will be there in a second. I'm looting, and that is more important than my brain. There's also flour here for some reason. And another layer. Layers are good. They repair my layer. This is probably the, the only place where I can get layer in the game, though. Probably not going to be able to buy it so I can repair. Starting to run low on space. That means I have like 50 pounds worth of shit. 
Mostly ammo, though, I'm sure. Mostly ammo. That might be actually the worst part of uh, the, running the hardcore mode, is that the, uh, the ammo actually has weight. Everything else is fine, I just kind of have to restrict how much... how much weight I bring with me in ammo. I tried to limit it to, like, 200. And as you can see, I, I gain more than I actually use as I go through the world. I want that axe, though. Is that... A, that's like a full axe, though. That's not a throwing axe. I don't know if I want it, then. No. Yes. And then there's one down here. Looks like it's the same one. Locker! Hey, it's got a beer. Yeah, it's a full-on axe. I don't want that. It weighs eight. It's not worth carrying around. Not when I have the throwing axes. This looks important. I'm sure there's not going to be anything important in here. But it looks important. It's got, it's got like official letters on it and everything. Pre-war money. Yeah, nothing. What kind of filing system is this? Hey, have you seen any bottle caps? Check under a K. I think I put some under there. This is crap. I don't know what I expect, but I always feel like they should give me some kind of big reward for this. And they're, they're always disappointing me. Alright, let me grab my brain. So that I can officially finish this. I can talk to my own brain, apparently. Let's do it. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been, hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Mike Benrado suddenly got a British accent. When did this happen? Are, are you my brain? No. Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? I always want a cookie. Uh, there's no need to be sarcastic, me and your own brain is a slightly out of vent. You're my brain, so you better be more respectful. How the hell did Murray's get a hold of my brain? Why are you such a dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote. Dick. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. Yes, you are. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? You were responsible. Yeah, you're my brain. I most certainly am not. I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? The pituitary gland. They come from glands, free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system. I can see how foolish your motives are. The pituitary gland is in. Yes, thank you, but you're the source of most of those glands unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to blame. Oh, now who gets to be sarcastic, asshole? I... Brain asshole? Well, look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Admit, you're just as glandular as I am. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're just as glandular as I am. We'll go with that. Oh, alright. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. Yeah, get back in my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. Yeah, rogue. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. I will pee on you, you know right now. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. It's the wasteland. I go wherever I please. Uh, what about a cool breeze on your cheek? The smell of food? Love? Yeah, let's let's try to appeal to that. Let's let's go the love route. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Which comes from you. 
I, am I gonna need speech for this? Please tell me I don't need speech for this. I don't want to up my speech, damn it! I don't want to beat the game by speechifying. I want to beat it with my guns. You'd rather just stay here, never leave that tank of whatever that is. Maybe I'll just leave you then. Oh no! Please don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome where I have access to nutritive fluids and a fully indexed library. Actually, that sounds pretty Please good. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape so bleak it was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. That actually might be true. I've been, I've been to these places a little bit. It looks pretty much the same, except you know the scorpions are a little smaller. Uh, never leaving that tank of whatever that is. Do you want to end up like the think tank? It's true. The brains here have experienced some degree of deterioration. I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. I, I doubt it. Then surely you've taken into account the corrosive effects of long-term exposure to biogel. Boom! In your face! Of course I accounted for that! Do you think I'm so stupid? No, you're right. Maintaining my current functionality will be harder than I thought. This bears some further looking into. Uh, so what would happen to me if I left you here? Hmm. Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now, using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. And if I put you back? I'm not entirely sure. I suppose there's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. I want what that. What form that might take, though, I cannot say. We're getting out of here, both of us, then. Ooh, crawl back in there? Are you mad? I don't know where you've been. For all I know, you're riddled with disease or Syphilis. packing one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. That I'm was not a crawling back into mark. your head just to ooze right back out again. I promise I'll take better care of myself. Even if I believe you, and I'm not saying I do, we still have one significant problem we're facing. Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here! We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. I'll kill them! Yeah, they, they, they promised. And you believe them? Really? No. I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And they won't live long. assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Ugh. I, I, apparently I might, I might need speech for this. Why? Why do I might need speech? Okay, uh... Yeah, it's stomping time, brain! Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? Uh, I'm going to show them what's really the brightest thing in the room. Uh, I could do guns or energy weapons. I'm going to give them a demonstration of the physics behind small, mass, fast-moving chunks of light. Now, energy weapons! They're more effective! Oh, energy weapons. Yes, I'd almost forgotten how much fun those are. How do we proceed then? We'll make them. I'll handle the brains. You stay here. You'll be... No. The think tank won't hold up there into the bargain. We'll make them. Let's go. Right. Look out, think tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that Seriously? we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the think tank took from us. Yeah. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. That, like, actually worked? How the hell did that actually work? How did I convince him? Uh, do I actually want my original stuff? Like, isn't that a downgrade? That, that is a downgrade, isn't it? 
I'm confused. Why would they give me a quest to get my original stuff back if it's worse for me that way? Better yet, why can't I just transport out of here a little bit quicker? But nonetheless, I have my brain. I want to see my brain. Where's my brain? Is it just under brain? Damn it, no. Is it my brain? Where is it? It's not here? There we go. Your brain. Can I drop it? Oh. <laughs> that would have been too much fun. Like, it, you could hear it go, like, squish. Whatever sound it makes when it hits the ground. Alright, back out to Big Empty. Shouldn't be any ro more uh, Robo Scorpions anywhere. We're gonna apparently finish this! Still kind of confused as to what the hell's been going on around here, but uh... Actually... This has been... This has been something that's been bothering me for a while. I already have it equipped. Thank you! I don't know if that was important, but I did it. Hooray! I'm useful for something. Alright, into the auto sink, or not the auto sink, the just regular sink we go. Okay, so I'm going to drop a save before I do this because once again, I'm not sure this is entirely what I want to do. Let's go get my stuff back. Uh, activate the tank. Here's your original spine. You seem to be doing just fine with the placement spine, fortunately. Thanks for your information. Uh, oh. So, I need to talk to the auto doc to you get this done. You require some additional services? Uh, yeah, engage the services. Swap body parts. Uh, reattach my spine. Lost the spineless perk. Your spine is back in place. But some advanced technologies remain. Your torso can now be crippled again, but your strength and damage threshold bonuses have doubled. Alright, so that... That maintained everything that I kind of wanted, more or less, didn't it? Hey, I actually can carry more weight. You That's even better. Some additional services? But it can't be crippled again. Uh, let's swap body parts and put my heart back in. Lost the heartless perk. Uh, your heart is back in your body, but some advanced technologies remain. You are less resistant to poison and robots are only somewhat confused by you. 25% less likely to score a critical hit now. But on the bright side, healing items, chems, are twice as effective plus 50%. What do you mean plus 50% if it's twice? I don't know if that's necessarily as good. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's as good. Oh well, I got my I got my original parts back. That should uh, do a couple things for my quest, right? So now I just uh, confront Dr. Klein. I think that's what I wanted to do at the end of it. It's hard to say though. 